Greetings everyone, it's late and I'm rounding off the day by having a look at the Fra Mauro map. Fra Mauro map is named after Fra Mauro, which was a cartographer during 1400 to 1464, so does history say, official history. And we can't get any more corrupt official history than by being here at Wikipedia, but just for the base of it. Uh, however, I would just have a look at it without any preconception or too much background information. It's very detailed, it has lots of text describing what's going on in a certain area or some myth or story. This is a lovely high-res scan. Here is Spain. Here is Italy. So Europe is here in the lower right corner. Africa is the northern right corner and India here is um, and Southeast Asia is in the upper left corner. Here is Saudi Arabia, what today is Saudi Arabia and so on. So let's head into Europe. Let's head into Sweden. And what I notice here in this map is that a lot of the European places here you see there have they're kind of washed out or sort of like somebody has spilled water on it uh, as to compare to let's say here in Asia somewhere like here this is really sharp and beautiful and well preserved so yeah let's go back to Europe so we can see here that Europe is very washed out so here is Sweden Obo, Vibori was a um, Swedish city, now it's in Russia, it used to be in the hands of the Finns, got over to Russia after the two uh, Russo-Finnish wars. So we here have Gotland, Gothia, and we also here in Ukraine have a province called Gothia. Rwenia, Romania, Kiev, Kiev. What is for me devastating about this is that Italy in itself seems to be totally washed out. I mean, the place where the actual cartographer lived, Republic of Venice, everything here is gone. It's like it's totally washed out. Yeah, so Italy looks like a desert here, but we see that there used to be a lot of cities and details here. And if we go over to the other side of the Adriat Adriatic, here is Ragusa. Here is Albaya, Albania I guess. Here is um, Bobovac, the old uh, royal uh, capital of Bosnia, here is Bosnia. Um, probably the location of where Sarajevo is right now and the river of Bosnia. So what's interesting, uh, the name Sarai apparently should mean like a palace or something like that in uh, Arabic uh, language. But here and in Russia there are many places which are called Sarai uh, or Sarajevo. So even in this map there are uh, one place is actually uh, part of the city of Kaliningrad, the uh, Russian exclave in Europe. Here is actually Sarai, as you can see there. Sarai it looks like a magnificent big place with, I mean it should be something here. It's on the map and we go further east. The cities just get totally bigger and like huge. I mean look at this place here. I mean this looks like those royal tents and this look, looks like palaces. And actually these look like a mixture of a water tower and a minaret. If you look at the old supposed minarets and like water towers from let's say hundreds to 150 years ago, they look very similar. Now when you look at the map like this, it has to have been 
made out of parts from older maps. It has to have been a copy of some other maps and put together of many other maps. Let's go to Africa, let's go to the pyramids. There they are. Looks like, uh, yeah, tipi tents. Yeah, so the pyramids are smaller than the actual cities. I don't really find that to be possible, but it's interesting. And once again we see that these areas here, here's the desert. So this area here is Northern Africa, you know, Morocco, Algeria, Libya and so on. Then we get the desert and then we get the uh, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa here. And there are many sites here. Many cities to be pointed out and marked on the map. Like this one here. Is this just creative imagination or was there some map or some story and information about a city which was kind of on an island with a bridge? We don't know. And that's what's interesting about it. How old were the maps which this map is based on? Were these palaces here in the uh, illustrations corresponding to the size or the importance of the city? Or was it just, you know, artistic impressions? And then we have, of course, here Tartaria. So we know that the Tartars were driven out by the communist Bolsheviks from this area, Krim, Ukraine and all, all this area. And they were either genocide or driven out to live like, to be scattered up here in the eastern parts of Russia. We also know, know that here in the, this region, we have the Caucasian region, there was plenty of like genocides and you know people being driven out like the Circassians uh, by the Imperial Russian royalty. Some of their soldiers are still in the royal king's guard of um, uh, Jordania, Jordan. Man, this is lovely. This is so amazing. And I do see a slight change in in style of the buildings actually. Like these buildings here don't look like the ones here, for example. Or is this the Chinese wall? No, it's a lovely bridge. And then over here we have Siberia. And that's what's amazing here, somewhere in the middle of today's nowhere, we find this sepultura. So this place is called Burial. Royal Burial. I mean, look at the size this gets here somewhere in North uh, Western Siberia, Northern Mongolia. Wonderful. So I'll leave the link to this map. And I guess there should be somewhere an archive or translation of all of these texts. If anything is to come out of this video is if someone who is curious just goes to the link, dives into this map and just let your imagination, your wonder get into this map with all the kind of historical facts you know. Have a look yourself, pick a place, pick a spot somewhere and dive in. I just saw this wonderful thing. Hope you have a good... Uh, Good weekend or a strong end. I like to say weekend, week, you know, the working week, the weekend, 52 weeks in a year, start of a new week. So, yeah, I have a strong end, not that strong beginning, whatever. Let's not get too hooked up on words, but they do matter. Thank you for watching. Have a look at the map yourself, and all the best.